Hey guys, Game Guide here with Mount and Blade Warband 1776 American Revolutions mod. So this is the finale of sorts, and it's it's more so the overview. This is what I these are like my final thoughts on the game, and I'd love to show you guys some gameplay. But you know what? I've tried recording this about five times, and it keeps crashing. And that brings me to my first topic: the crashing. It's it's really bad. It's really bad. It seems to happen way too often. Sure enough, it's easy to bring back up. And you can save it while you're going along. But, I mean, it, it's just ridiculous sometimes where it crashes just out of nowhere. It, it's very annoying. And, I don't know, it just really pisses me off. As for the feeling of the fighting, I'm not a fan. Personally, it doesn't seem like it's that good. If you want to have rifles put in, then I definitely suggest just like a with fire and sword mod that gives you the same thing as with fire and sword um, that that you can buy. And it it really it seems like there's no point in having such crappy rifles and such crappy weaponry because most most units on this game use a dagger. That's just how it goes: a dagger and a rifle. That's what like every single unit on this mod does. And I'm not a fan of it. I really am not. But, in any case, um, never actually took a look in here. Yeah, and sure enough, they didn't even change any of the looks, which is, I don't know, it seems kind of sad to me. Uh, it looks like, yeah, even on the ones that they actually did put in, it seems like they messed up with the graphic. I never took a look in here before. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't really make much sense. Also, I wish I could show you this, but you'll just have to take my word on it. I, actually, I might have a screen cap. No, actually, I don't. Never mind. But... Iroquois soldiers are just named Serenid Veteran Footmen, or Serenid Veteran Yada Yada, or Serenid Blah Blah Blah. That is not good. It, it's not. Oops, sorry about that. It's not supposed to be that way. Even if they put like Iroquois Veteran Warrior, I'd be satisfied. I really would be, because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't follow the traditional role play feeling. And I don't know about you guys, when I'm playing a role playing game, I'd like to kind of feel immersed in the storyline and. This Modern Blade Warband doesn't really have a storyline, but it has the feeling, and it seems like this one just kind of takes away from the glitches, and it, I don't know, it just doesn't feel exactly like a great mod to me. My final rating on this is a 6 out of 10, and from now on I'll be giving a rating at the end of each uh, mod overview video so you guys get an idea of my overall impressions. Now, don't get me wrong, there is some cool stuff that they added in, but 6 out of 10 is my final rating. I'll give you a quick little discussion about the good stuff um one thing that i actually do like is they added in the ships although at the same time it, it doesn't seem like it's that big of an improvement because let's face it it just you can just walk over water in some places which i also don't like that much because it's before you know we're used to having it as a boundary in native and i agree with the boundary because you're not supposed to ford heavily uh, like high rivers that, that's not how it goes you're supposed to use the bridge but whatever, you can either use the bridge or just go up right straight through the water in this mod. Whatever. Ships are still a cool thing. I think they're overpriced because 5000 is actually tough to acquire until later on. Maybe that's for a reason. I don't know, but it just seems kind of ridiculous to me. Uh, the fact that a horse, if a horse dies while you're fighting, then it actually does die and you need to buy a new one. I actually like that as to the roleplay because, let's face it, when you die in native, if your horse dies a native, I'm sorry, if your horse dies a native, you lose the horse, you don't lose the horse, I should say, and he's back to full health and yada yada yada. So this one kind of makes you play more conservatively, which is definitely fitting for the time period. I kind of like that. In fact, I really like that. But um, other than that, there's not too much to this mod that I really enjoy. I like the idea that you can kind of plan your formation out ahead of time. That's pretty cool. But other than that, honestly, I can't really think of much else that's worth it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the brief about amount of content I put on here. I know somebody wanted me to go to like 30 parts or something, but that was never going to happen because this mod just doesn't interest me. It, it doesn't. And I don't know. It, it, you really have to play it to really understand why it's not that interesting. It may look good on a video, but it's really it's, it's not fun to play. It has no replay value. And, I mean, sure, it's kind of nostalgic being in the American Revolution for U.S. people watching this, but there's not too much point. I I don't see the value in watching it. I, I, I'm not watching it, but playing it. I don't see, um, the, like, the glitches. They, they just take away from it. And that's about it, though. Uh, I wish I could show you gameplay with this, but it just keeps...
crashing, so I'm going to put an end to this mod. I'm probably going to delete it just because I'll never play it again. But anyway, I hope you all uh, enjoyed the brief amount of coverage I put on it. Final rating is 6 out of 10, and I hope you all have a good day.